Instead of eating boring old oatmeal for breakfast, let's take the oatmeal and make a double chocolate protein brownie skillet with just a few extra ingredients. So a double chocolate skillet protein brownie the size of my head, and I have a giant head, not much in it, but a giant head, is gonna replace your boring oatmeal for breakfast. It's rich, it's decadent, it's insanely chocolatey, and it's super low calorie and high protein. We're gonna start with the hardest part of this recipe first, which is cracking two eggs and separating the egg whites. Please, no yolk. Oh my God, it didn't crack, thank God. If you have a dog, feed the yolk to your dog. I'm gonna feed it to my garbage disposal. After the egg whites, the second wet ingredient is the secret ingredient, canned pumpkin. This is gonna keep this so, insert M word, because if I say it, people will get mad. I'm gonna, you know what, I don't care. I'm gonna say it moist. This thing, you cannot taste the pumpkin at all. I promise you, there's a lot of bold flavors in this recipe, like chocolate. That's the only bold flavor, actually. Just make sure you get 100% pure pumpkin. Do not get pumpkin pie filling. It has a lot of sugar and a lot of excess calories that you don't want. The only ingredient should be pumpkin. I don't have a can opener. I keep forgetting every single time I go to the grocery store. So, a knife works. You just poke it. See, it works every time. I'm an expert. Can openers are a, say it with me, scam. I'm kidding, get one, don't be like me. Canned pumpkin is the best. One of the best low calorie hacks ever invented for baking, 90 grams. Fat pinch of vanilla extract, just go hard. I love this stuff too much. I was just checking to make sure the sugar-free syrup tastes good and it does, 10 grams. The maple plus the chocolate that's coming soon, so good. Almost forgot, we need to add a quarter cup of liquid into this. I'm gonna use water because I wanna keep it super low calorie. Feel free to use almond milk, cashew milk, which is the better nut milk, or even regular milk if you're bulking and wanna add extra calories. Mix this all up. If you're a regular on this channel and you buy oat flour, I will smack you. All you new people, listen closely. Do not buy oat flour. It is expensive for absolutely no reason. All you need to do is blend regular oatmeal. I hope I don't get demonetized for violence. I'm kidding. I won't actually smack you. My spatula will. You want to use equal amounts of whey and casein, not just one or the other. You can use a whey casein blend protein powder, but they're expensive for no reason. They just mix whey and casein and then mark you up like double the amount of money. Instead, I just buy a bulk bag of whey and a bulk bag of casein. Okay, it's not a bulk bag, it's a smaller bag of casein, but my protein is the most affordable protein powder I've found. I'll leave a link down below. Whey makes baked goods fluffy and rise, but it makes it super dry, like bread. We don't want a hockey puck, so we have to use some casein. But if we just use casein, this would be like a flan. It would be too wet and not rise at all. It would be just a tiny little wet, damp brownie. That's bad. So we use equal amounts of both, so we get the fluffiness, but also the moistness. Said the M word again, I don't care today. 12 grams of whey. I'm using chocolate flavor because chocolate's always good. And then 12 grams of casein. I only have a vanilla flavor, so it's gonna do. My favorite sweetener, erythritol. It bakes like sugar, crystallizes like sugar, tastes like sugar, except it's a little bit less sweet than sugar, but ignore that. Doesn't have the metallic taste that stevia does, which makes it so much better than stevia. 30 grams. Look, it says keto friendly, so this recipe is now keto. I'm very inclusive to keto people. Also vegans, I love vegans. I am vegan, I'm also keto. Add in a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and some salt. I love a good salted chocolate brownie. Blend. We're gonna add eight grams of powdered peanut butter. This adds protein without adding more protein powder, but if you don't have this, you could just use a little bit more protein powder. If you're allergic to nuts, I'm so sorry. Peanut butter is one of the best things in the entire world, so I'm sorry that you don't get to experience a Reese's cup. Peanut butter without the fat, it's great. The oil goes to Panda Express, the peanuts come here. Blend. Pour it all in. Look at that, not one little clump of oatmeal. I love it. Mix this all up. I know it doesn't look like brownie batter and there's one ingredient that we're missing. If you can guess it, comment down below. If you guess we're missing cocoa powder, you're absolutely correct. But not just any cocoa powder, black cocoa powder is what we're gonna use for this recipe. It's gonna give it a super deep, dark color. This is literally Oreo powder. Why? You know how Oreos are super, super dark colored? They're almost black, but they don't really taste like chocolate. That's black cocoa powder. I made a whole video about this. I'll link it somewhere. 
natty cocoa powder that's not on steroids. I'm kidding. Natural cocoa powder. It's much, much lighter in color. If you raw dog natty cocoa powder, ooh, it's bitter. I, I like it. I like really dark chocolate. But it, ooh, it's very bitter. Kind of like an Americano, which is my choice of coffee. Black cocoa powder. It's good. It doesn't really taste bitter at all. Also, it doesn't really taste like chocolate. I was waiting to add the black cocoa to this because I want to show you guys how little of this you need to completely change the color. We're going to use two tablespoons or 10 grams and watch this completely turn into midnight darkness. It's insane. Perfect. I have an eight inch nonstick metal pan. It has the rubber, plastic, whatever this is, grip, which you're not supposed to bake. But when I bought this, it said bakeable temperatures up to 350 degrees and we're baking this at 300 so it will work but if your pan looks like this it might not work it might melt in your oven i'm not sure what kind of pan you have you can use a cast iron pan or any skillet or any baking dish you want i'm using an eight inch pan eight inches is a good size body dysmorphia oil spray batter goes in it sat a few minutes on the counter and the oatmeal just continues to thicken it up Nine grams of mini chocolate chips. I keep it in my fridge because it melts. It's hot in California. You can mix it in, but I like to just sprinkle it on top because I want to see the chocolate chips. I don't want them to get lost in the sauce. Bake this 300 degrees Fahrenheit. 22 minutes later, take it out. That's a skillet. Let it rest at least 10 minutes. Check out my cookbook for even more protein skillets. I have over 100 recipes in there that help me lose 100 pounds and I'm always updating it. So once you buy it once, you get all the future updates for free. I have snickerdoodle skillets, peanut butter skillets, chocolate chip cookie skillets, brownie skillets, plenty of savory recipes and plenty of sweet recipes and meal prep recipes. It's all in one giant book that's gonna keep getting updated. The entire brownie skillet is 411 calories, 37 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbs, and only nine grams of fat. Ooh, you already know it's oozing on the inside. It's so gooey. The square holds together perfectly. It is super moist and gooey on the inside and insanely dense and fudgy. Oh, it's so soft. It just melts in your mouth. So rich, but dense. There's a dog barking somewhere. I think it wants some brownies, but dogs can't have chocolate, except I can, and I'm a dog.